Hey everybody, this is my first video in a series. It's called Quest for the World's Largest Hydroponic Tomato, in which I'm going to attempt to grow the biggest indoor hydroponic tomato ever. And what you're looking at here are Wisconsin 55 tomatoes. But these are not what I'm going to be growing. I'm going to be growing Big Zach tomatoes because they're known for uh, setting world records. And you can see down here I have a couple big ones. And I'm going to give them the best conditions possible and see if I can come up with some record-breaking weights and beautiful tomatoes. And actually, this is the plant I'm going to clone from because it's giving me the best tomatoes. So I'll show you how I'm going to clone these guys. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how I clone tomatoes. What you see here is a growing tip of a tomato, which you can use for a clone. It has no flowers on it. And uh, what I would do is cut it right here and immediately put the cutting in a cup of water. Don't use tap water, use uh, rain water or distilled water. And uh, I've had a 100% success rate. And uh, also you can use a sucker, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, here's a sucker, which I just mentioned. And you can use these for clones too, which I prefer to use suckers because they're a whole new tomato plant and you don't have to grow, cut off your growing tip. Uh, it's right here. This one's a perfect size, as you can see there. It's a whole new tomato plant. They grow out of the uh, armpit of branches. And you should cut them off your tomato plant anyway unless you have uh, bush your tomato plant. But all you gotta do is cut it, and then here's your new tomato plant. Stick it in a cup of water, and uh, I'll show you what to do with it next. Okay, here are my cuttings and a cup of water. And what you'll need are some rock wool cubes. These are 1.5 inch, they're 1.5 inch tall. And uh, I bought a sheet of 100 of these a couple of years ago. They go about for 14 bucks, and I guess it's made out of petrified sheep, I'm not sure. but. I use these all the time and they work great. Okay, you're gonna need some dechlorinated water. All I did here was put some water in a five gallon bucket, ran an air stone in it for 24 hours, bubbled all the chlorine out of it, and uh, soak your rock wool cubes into it for a few minutes, just like so. And I'll show you what to do next. Okay, you're gonna need a rooting hormone, such as this one. This is a Schultz Take Root. And I've been using this same container for five years now, and it doesn't go bad. So what I do is take the cap off, just dump a little bit of powder into the lid, and let me show you what to do next. All right, I take my rock bowl cubes that I had soaking, and I take a pencil and just poke a hole all the way through to the bottom of each rock bowl cube. Just like so. And then I take a cutting over here and I scrape with a razor blade about a half inch up each side on two sides. Just like that. And then I take it and roll it into the rooting hormone. Make sure it's well covered and then I take it and poke it all the way down into the rock wool cube and there you have it and I'll show you what to do with it next. Okay here you can see the clones they're ready to go into my bucket. This is just a little kid's bucket I think it was used for Easter cookies or something but yeah, I just place them in the bucket and uh, then give them a good spritzing with some fine water and do that every day and then cover them with like saran wrap or something like I do here. I have this preformed plastic wrap off of my shrink wrap machine. And I put them under a 42 watt grow light and run it for 24 hours a day for about six days. And let me show you what I'm going to do. 
Okay, here I have one 42 watt 6500K light bulb. It's a CFL light bulb. And I'm going to put my bucket of clones under the light bulb. Hit it with a fine mist of water every morning for about six days. And uh, you don't have to use rock wool. You can put the clones directly into the soil. But I use rock wool because I can see when the roots come out the sides. And you can even take the rock wool cubes after the uh, roots are coming out the sides and put them right into the soil. But I like to see the progress of the roots so I know when to put them into soil or into the hydroponic unit. And uh, let me show you what I'm going to do next. Alright, here are my clones. I just took them out of the clone bucket. And you can see my big zacks. Here's one that has the most roots. And the other ones have not as many, but they're ready to go into the hydroponic unit. And I'm just going to select the best ones that take off. And I'm ready to put them in there. Okay, as you can see, the big zacks are in their net pots and some hydrogen. And I'll keep the best tomatoes, maybe two or three. And the other ones, I don't know, maybe I'll keep them anyway. <laughs> put them in another unit. Hey, here we are, seven days later. As you can see, there's plenty of new growth. Everything is green and healthy. And it's amazing how fast these are growing, but everything grows faster in hydroponics, as you know. And let me show you the roots on these guys. All that root growth is from the past seven days. And it's pretty amazing. It's really going down into the nutrient solution now, and these guys are ready to take off and produce the world's biggest tomato. <laughs> I have them growing under a 400 watt metal halide light, so that's going to give them plenty of artificial sunshine that they need. And let me show you what else is going on with some tomatoes that I have growing in my kitchen. Um, I'll update on these tomatoes every two weeks or so, as well as the ones in my kitchen, and uh, give you some info on, about what I'm doing each week. Well, I decided to try a new micro variety of tomatoes. These are called Red Robins, and I have them in my arrow garden. And these are 45 days old right now. And as you can see, I changed out the light on the arrow garden because I didn't think it was bright enough. And uh, I used one of my homemade CFL grow lights. There's two 42 watt 6500K bulbs in there. And if you want to know how to make one of those, um, I think it was my first video in 2009, shows you how to make it, and uh, a lot of people have made them on YouTube already. Anyway, I'll be updating on my tomatoes every couple weeks, so stay tuned.